Hi all. Now you will hear a brief retelling of the film The Flintstones. Enjoy watching. In the town of Bedrock at the quarry, grimy ancient workers plow behind them with contempt from your window. The office is monitored by the vice president of the company, Slade and Cole Cliffner, KYV, with his secretary in a leopard print outfit. He shares his plans to cheat his boss. Shift is over and a cheerful Brontosaurus driver, Fred Flintstone rushes home to his family. In a prehistoric town, dinosaurs and other animals used in all areas of life. Transport power is measured in human forces, and weather forecasters report the likelihood of meteor shower. Barney Rubble is Fred's best friend and neighbor, and he is preparing to become a foster father. Fred borrowed Barney a large sum of money for this purpose, and he doesn't want to, so that his wife Filma finds out about it. Bedrock looks like a modern American suburb. Only everything around is made of stone. The role of the dog in the Flintstones is played by Dinosaur Dinosaur. Believing in the hands of a stone newspaper, Fred complains that Brontosaurus, on which he works, got pregnant again, and Vilma is interested. Where did their savings go? some of which she wanted to spend on a new garbage disposal. But her husband assures her that the previous hog is still quite good. In the end, Fred still had to confess that this money helped slaves adopt a child. And Vilma wasn't upset about it. But on the contrary, I was pleased. The guys and his wife, Betty, bring their baby orangutan. But it turned out that it was for another couple. But the winner was a wild kid named Bam Bam, who grew up among mastodons. He is frightened by the flash of an ancient camera and immediately runs away from his new parents. They will have to put in a lot of effort to raise a boy who has uncontrollable strength and loves to wield his club. In spite of difficulties, the couple are extremely happy. In the evening, the city bowling championship takes place. A team of our friends to confront the Neanderthal. Fred makes the strike with his signature throw and earns victory. Barney gives his acceptance speech in front of everyone and vows to Fred to repay him for his generous gift. The drunk champion tried to return home without making a fuss. But not only did he get hit in the head with a ball, and there was also a shirasha with the unexpected arrival of the mother-in-law. She immediately attacks her son-in-law with complaints that he spent the money for nothing, and her daughters, according to her, should have married the guy who invented the wheel. Fred states that one day he will become great, and then her daughter will have everything, whatever she wants. Another working day at the quarry. During lunch break, Cleb reports that testing will be carried out soon, and the winner will receive the position of vice president of the company, just what Fred needed. While the kids are playing in the yard, their mothers make fun of their mental abilities. Fred's exam day has arrived. Answers need to be knocked out with a well-sharpened chisel. Barney cracks the dough like nuts. Fred works with a chisel at random, and the monkey doesn't let his neighbor peek. Guys noticed that his friend has problems and offered to carry the sign for him. He was horrified by Fred's answer and, remembering my promise, replaced the plates in numbered envelopes. L.I.V. and Archer's secret can't believe it that Fred Flintstone got the highest score. It is he who is appointed as a new member of the board. The postman delivers new signs and gets lucky. If she stays intact. Now, Fred needs to live up to his position and pay more attention to hygiene. On the way to work, he assures Barney that he's not going to turn up his nose and will do everything for the benefit of ordinary workers. Cliff takes Fred to his private office. The only thing that impresses him more than the office is his secretary, Miss Sharon Stone. He also meets the dictatorial bird assistant, which gives advice and records conversations. Fred just found out. What position does he hold? And Cliff is already forging signs, thanks to which he and the Sharon will pocket a lot of money. But they will blame the idiot vice president for this. First order, which he must fulfill, is to fire your friend Barney Rubble. Because he is an idiot and wrote the test worse than anyone else. Said Fred was about to do it. But unexpectedly, he finds himself at a party, organized in honor of his promotion. And it was organized by Barney and Betty. His mother-in-law greets him like a family member. Fred refuses to accept a gift from his neighbors. Shorty my Freddy doesn't need this cheap stuff. Now they shouldn't waste money. Fred immediately announces Barney's dismissal. In front of all those gathered. Friend is holding up great. But he's interested. Why was he fired anyway? And then he understands that he set himself up. Filma can now afford any dress. And Bam Bam breaks all the crystal at the wrong time. Who was in the store? Betty doesn't accept credit cards, and her friend pays for it. The woman burst into tears, because now they can take the baby back from them. Freddy's late for a meeting. 
Onycliffe proposes to modernize production at the quarry using steam conveyor. With his help, lungs will be produced. Modular houses made of flat stones, Sharon brings those same dummy forms to Fred to sign. But today, he wants to read them. So the secretary to distract attention. I have to turn on the cat. It is at this moment that Vilma enters the office with the child. Very pretty secretary. Yeah, didn't notice. By the way, it cuts out 18 words per minute. She came to talk about slave problems. To make ends meet. They had to rent out their house. And now they live with the Flintstones. And it's worth admitting. Pretty friendly. Fred wonders. Won't the new system leave primitive people? Without work, Miss Tone pretends that he doesn't understand anything about it and then is touched by Flintstone's story about his wife. She tells LIF to forget about the fraud because Fred turned out to be not so stupid and so that unnecessary thoughts do not enter his head. They are inventing a large bonus for his salary. While Fred buys himself a new car, Barney works part-time at a car wash. The Flintstones are finally being replaced. Old reclaimed pig for a new garbage disposal. The house has a second floor. Arabs joylessly do all the housework. Guys make money at the cost of their health. And in the evening, they discuss friends who turned into snobs. We were the ones who had to waste money and humiliate our friends. Cliff brings Fred a bunch of signs to sign, which will supposedly give workers a long-awaited vacation. The bird tries to instruct the boss. But in vain, only an idiot. Sign it. What I didn't read. Boss you equipment. Evening reading of the Flintstones, having fun in a nightclub for majors. They're waiting for Barney, but it turned out that today he works here as a waiter. Relations between friends are becoming increasingly tense. See Wilma, and you were afraid that they would hang around with us forever. Workers' protests are shown on TV, whom I fired a few hours ago. With his signatures personally Fred, Barney condemns his ex-friend. The new answer only hears mockery and accusations of envy. And then he finally confesses that I swapped tests with him and should now be in his place. The Flintstones don't believe them and accuse them of ingratitude. Arabs complain about it. That the nice couple turned into arrogant snobs, loading things into the car. The rubles are moving out of the Flintstones. Velma is very upset. But Fred is just happy about it. We will find new friends. There are 4,000 people in the world. Who needs slaves? Woman freaking out. She doesn't need expensive things instead of friends. She moves out right after the neighbors and leaves her husband one. Slaves now live in the open air, next to a family of wild boars. They were disturbed by a brontosaurus. Whose eggs are they going to eat? The workers attack Fred. And he, in anger, finally decides to read the signs, which he signed. He's going to tell the boss everything. But Cliff accuses him of embezzling funds. After all, with what money could he afford luxurious skins a new car and an extension to the house? And the spendthrift runs away until he was caught by security. While Fred is hiding, a friend came to support Vilma. TV shows a show about a famous thief. I'm the leader. I. I'm stealing property. I'm shocked. Vilma is determined to clear her husband's name. Fred comes into the cave, where fire workers drown their sorrows in alcohol. That's where the replaced pig hangs out. He immediately betrays the former owner. Damn, get up. And the crowd is chasing the hated boss. Cliff and Sharon packing. And when the secretary finds only one bullet enemy ticket, she understands that her lover wants to leave her. Girlfriends come to Fred's former office and demand a voice recorder from the bird to help them justify their husband. Cliff sees from the window that they took the recording device with them. Furious. The crowd gather to hang up Flintstone at the nearest Barney tree. Now, the ice cream man speaks to the primitives that without him, none of this would have happened. And now, the second Liana is hanging from the tree. Before the execution, the men manage to make peace, but their wives manage to save them from this terrible fate. The bird is ready to reproduce the desired conversation to justify Fred. But first, you will have to apologize for that, that he treated it like off his furniture. Friends were released, but after returning home, they discovered that their children were kidnapped and Dina and her mother-in-law were tied up. You are my poor dog. You are my baby, yes. My baby. In the note, Cliff indicated that in the quarry he will exchange the kids for the dictator. He grabs the bird, but the children are already being sent to recycling. Following the cobblestones, can't stop the conveyor. And then the guys, they come up with the idea of getting to them using a catapult. He manages to do it. 
but he is immediately knocked out with a huge bone. And now, it's up to the narrow-minded Fred to come up with something. Meanwhile, the bird runs away from the cliff and runs to it. Scoundrel aims at a guy with a six-shooter. But the former boss is saved by Miss Sharon Stone. To save the children and Barney, he also uses a catapult and the healthiest boulder, and at the same time destroys the mechanism for creating stone slabs. L.I.F. tries to escape, but Fred using his bowling skills, knocks it down like a regular pin. At this moment, to the quarry, prehistoric cops have arrived. They take readings from the bird. The signs are confiscated and Cliff's accomplice is arrested. I behaved very badly, but admit it. I did it very, very good earlier. When the schemer himself tried to escape, it was covered with a mixture of water and stone chips. The director liked the result so much that he decided to make extensive use of the new material and named him after his daughter Sementia. The Stone Age is officially over, and now Leiden COC will produce cement. A flint stone will become head of the new department, but the simpleton refuses the position. His place is next to other workers, and he goes with Barney to have a dinosaur snack. Ribs.